Hello everyone and welcome back to G2 TV. My name is KING, the King himself, and I still remain your superstar host. It's a very wonderful day and I'm welcoming you back. I'm of pure on quality entertainment we give you back to back. Wow. When I saw you being lowered into the grave, I felt the whole world being shattered. <sighs> Those were the words of Nikki Laoye, a very, very popular gospel music superstar at the burial of late Samuel Puso that was aired yesterday. Um, uh, it's a very painful thing. May, the, may, may he so rest in perfect peace. It's just so crazily painful. This man died on the 25th of November, just last month, and it was a Friday. According, you know, a lot of, a lot of controversial uh, rumors around that uh, he died, he collapsed in the hospital, he collapsed on stage, he did his but then his wife shed the light on the matter his wife said he left she left him sitting down on the chair and watching tv and she went upstairs here yeah, believe me the house is a duplex and then she came back downstairs to come and wake him up to go and sleep inside the room and she was you know she was not successful with that she tried waking him up and she was he was not even yielding that was when she knew that, that something is really really wrong and then we lost samuel Boso. Samuel Poso from Delta State, yes, from Delta State, the Welwelu Master Kruna. Um, uh, if you know, I'm very, I, I shouldn't know, even be asking you if you've heard the song or not. I'm very sure you've heard the song. Jesus, I thank you, Welu, Welu, eh, mm, 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 Welu. Yeah, very, very common, very, very common song then in the 90s. And don't worry, the Indomie generation people might actually not know this song. So that's not an insult or just a joke to crack you up. Now, it's a very, very delicate matter, I'm telling you. Well, someone asked, why is it that they decided not to invite a lot of people for the funeral? I just believe they just, their family said that was what they wanted. It's just something private. Let's just keep it private and just, though a lot of celebrities attended, a lot of A-list celebrities. I'm not even talking about gospel music alone, I'm talking about all works of life talking about even actresses, superstars, even a lot of people, you know, government officials attended the barrier. And what really broke my mind when I saw the video was when Samuel Poso's songs were being played on a very large screen. Yes, the way it was, it was, it was as if he was still alive, where he was calling upon his wife in the video, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can you help me celebrate my wife? And then so painful the wife could not control her tears as she busted then had his daughter yes i'm your daughter the daughter was just looking into oblivion like looking so absurd she couldn't say anything no i believe she was just like, ah, so my dad is really gone very painful don't forget about the scandal that really shook samuel Poso. a lot of people started saying some stuff like probably the scandal was the you know was one of the causes of his death maybe he developed eyebrow prayer or what was the scandal if you've not forgotten, the scandal involved an American citizen. Yes, an American, Nigerian, African citizen. The lady said, okay, you've impregnated me. You allegedly impregnated the lady. And the lady has been blackmailing him. That she was going to, you know, she has been taking a lot of, a lot of money from him. Okay, yeah, send me one million. Send me 500,000. Send me three million if you don't want me to. So he said he just had to apologize to the public and he came, you know, that one step really made me to just respect this man the more. I'm telling you, I respected him before, but this one really made me respect him the more. Like, who could have done this? Even in the midst of the, then the wife, let us just greet the wife. The wife in the midst of everything still stood by him. It's not easy, it's not easy at all, it's not easy. Like, you should know your, your husband being involved in a very, very messy situation and she still stood by him. Then Samuel Poso came out and said, I'm very sorry for this that I've done. I impregnated a lady and she has been blackmailing me, but I've decided to come out that, uh, and I love what he did. He did not even talk, you know, a lot of Christians would be like, okay, it's the devil. So he did not even accuse the devil, he accused himself. And then the thing he did that really, really made me respect him the more was when he said, okay, I am withdrawing myself from all ministerial assignment for now. I'm not ready to go for any ministrations. Let me just be for now. And then we have a lot of churches. We don't want to mention names on this channel. A lot of churches that actually remove this name from their posters. Yes, just, you know, some couple of weeks to go for their concert, for their services, for their programs, and they started removing his names. Though some did not. And then a controversial 
uh, a controversial situation arose then. A controversial situation arose then when they said, okay, some people actually said uh, it is good. Uh, a faction, a faction, a school of thought believe that way. Well, at least he has apologized. He has done the best thing. So just leave this man. And also, another school of thought said, mm, well, this one, Jari, we don't want to associate with him anymore. Even after his death, Apostle Suleiman, yes, Johnson Suleiman, uh, the dad of very wonderful and fantastic prophet, an apostle who has been on the news for a very long time now. Yes, don't forget an attack. Hmm? An attack was actually orchestrated uh, on his convoy uh, along Benin Road, where a lot of his workers died. Government just attacked like that and everything. Yes, Apostle Suleiman is said, and I quote, said, okay, you guys that are saying all this, he talked to me, Samuel Poso talked to me before he died. He told me about the situation. A lot of you so-called pastors that we are looking up to as mentors, you disregarded him, you decided not to have anything to do with him again. But this man still kept on. He's, well, he told me about the situation and everything, though, you know, because of the scandal and everything, the allegations against the apostle, a lot of Nigerians were, shut up, what are you saying? You will be saying, you know, no clean, you've done this, you've done that. All right, we just don't really want to go into details about the apostle. Now, don't forget that he has had, you know, a lot of scandal with a very, very, very popular blogger, names withheld. Yes, the blogger accused him of sleeping with a lot of actresses. Yabo Ujo, Keten Shaw, Shan Judge, a lot of them like that. And it's so, it's so, it's so very, very somehow like, ah, why would you say this? Why would you do this? Now, also, the man said, a lot of our fathers, Father and fathers that we believe should stand with him, should stand by him, even in his days of peril, in his days of tribulations. They did not, instead, they started castigating him. Is that how faith should have been? Yeah. Well, you can just drop your comments under the comment section. For me, I have my own point, but I will just, we are, you know, really, really don't want to just tell you guys about him. Yeah. So, Samuel Koso, he has been buried yesterday amidst tears and willing. He has been buried. Yes, he has been buried already. And it's just so painful that the music colossus had to go. Yes, he was a music colossus. And he had to go like that. Uh, rest in peace, Samuel Koso. A lot of songs, and this man has blessed a lot of people, including me. I'm also a music minister. I have really, really benefited from his, you know, from his works. If you are talking, you know, I just don't know which other word to qualify this man. He was a colossus, a giant. Talking about music. Hmm? And the funny part was that he rose to fame through very hardship conditions. It was not as if someone saw him and then, no, 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 no. He, there was a time he was doing voiceover, he was doing voiceover advertisement for a lot of companies. He rose through the hardship, through the storms to be where he was before he died. Where may he so rest in perfect peace. He survived by a wife and children. I know you are going to ask in your heart, what about the lady impregnated? Well, I don't know anything about that. If you want to know anything, you can just contact the family members and ask them how about that. Thank you very much. This is G-Strip TV. My name is K-I-N-G.
Oh, she that I go to love. Go send me, send me, shall be well. 